Tired of dropping your phone or struggling to prop it up? Meet the Pop Sockets Phone Grip with expanding kickstand in black, your new must-have accessory. Don't miss out. Grab yours today. Click the link in the video description to shop now on Amazon. Welcome to Microsoft Sphere. Today, we're talking about a change that might affect how you log in on your mobile devices. You've probably used Microsoft Authenticator to secure your accounts with a second form of verification, like a time-based one-time password or biometric confirmation. But did you know that the app's autofill feature is about to disappear? That's right, starting this July and completing by August 2025, Microsoft will be phasing out the autofill feature in Authenticator. This change is all about streamlining how we manage our credentials and moving them under a single platform, Microsoft Edge. Now you might be wondering what that means for you. Well, if you want to keep using those saved passwords and addresses automatically, you'll need to install Microsoft Edge on your phone first. And then, in the app settings, choose Edge as the preferred service for autofill. Easy peasy, right? But here's the thing. If you don't make this switch or export your passwords before August 1st next year, they might disappear forever. The good news is that Microsoft allows exporting those passwords, so you can move them to another password manager of your choice. And speaking of security, it's worth noting that Microsoft Authenticator will continue to support passkeys, which are a great way to sign in using things like biometrics or U2F keys. So, if you're already using passkeys with Authenticator, Make sure the app remains enabled as your passkey provider. Now, we all want our devices to be safe and secure, so let's talk about how this change might affect you. You'll need to find autofill slash passwords in your device settings and choose Edge as the preferred service for autofill. And then, launch Edge and sign in with your Microsoft account to start syncing those passwords. But don't worry if you're not comfortable updating your apps or changing your security settings right away. You've got time, until August 1st next year to export your passwords or switch to Edge. Just remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your online security. So, what does this mean for Microsoft Sphere? Well, we'll be keeping an eye on how this change plays out and sharing updates with you as more information becomes available. And if you're a business owner looking to secure your employees' devices, we've got resources coming soon to help you do just that. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining us on Microsoft Sphere. Stay safe online.